Welcome guys to my Oz Show Jumping Champs vlog. So I actually posted the first two on TikTok. So you can head over to there if you want to see me driving there and the stuff I got up to while I was there and then riding in the first two days. But basically the rundown for you guys is that he was absolutely crazy in the first round, as you can kind of see by these clips. And so in the second day I put Martin Gales or rings back on him after like over a year of not having them on him and he was way better but they were both speed classes so unfortunately I couldn't fully get him back under control because I was trying to be competitive so I was still going for speed. So the first day I just had him in an open 110 and we had two rails in a double because he literally put two strides in the double uh, because I just couldn't get him back in time and then the second day he came 22nd out of 53 starters in the first round of the amateur series which is sort of like a 110 to 120 series for horses and riders that weren't competing over 120 during the whole show but yeah it was a very competitive class here we have me just sooking around with mr sook after i had competed that day and then him playing around with his little treat ball which i brought him because i didn't want him to be bored in the stable because he is not usually a stabled pony and then the lovely bonio me having a drink and watching because why not when in bonio and then us doing the routine of max the boy taking him out for a walk while i would redo his stable and water and feed etc then we had dinner at the local lovely RSL and then this is the next morning so we got up really early because I was the first class on so I walked the course. It was a bit bigger than the other day which was good because it's a bit more comparable to what I usually do with Dexter. So this is the second round of the amateur series so he was really really good this day. I guess he had been in the ring a little bit more so he was a bit more chilled and more relaxed not just so excited because he was jumping again after a month or so off but yeah he was still definitely thinking speed classes also I don't know what happened there just some of Max's hairs <laughs> but yeah he was still thinking speed classes I think because you know the first two days had been speed classes so it had really just uh, nailed down that he should go quickly so down this line we cut out a stride which we definitely shouldn't have and he kind of drifted over that fence as you can tell and I really had to try and get him back there but he was still just running on a bit it was just the end of the course where he's starting to just take off a little bit but I was so happy with how he went through that triple combination because he's always had issues through triple combinations because he's had a few bad experiences through them with training them and stuff. And he's also a horse that thinks ahead quite a bit. So when he's jumping one fence and looking at another one, he often forgets about the fence that he's jumping and he gets overwhelmed when there's three. But yeah, you can see I just tried to get him back a little bit more through that end part there which was good and then we took him for a little walk years and put his summer rug on so he stayed nice and warm because it was freezing and then we were into the jump off which I was planning on being quite competitive <laughs> because you know it's Oz Champs I wanted to be as competitive as I could so I got him back a little bit there which is just because he's such a long course I really struggled to get him back so I try to get him quite collected so he can make nice tight turns like these ones because otherwise it's just impossible to you know <laughs> gallop around and go fast on him because he's such a long horse and hard to get back often so you can see that here he just yeah <laughs> gets a little bit too long. I angled that fence and he's just charging on a little bit too much. I lost my inside stirrup there and then managed to get it back. So I didn't make that turn, which was really frustrating because then I had such a long gallop on to the second to last fence and then yeah, gallop on to the last fence. But I was so happy with him considering we went clear and he was such a good boy. It was just that one little mishap. So we came fifth in the end. We would have done a lot better if we didn't uh, have that mishap at the end and actually made that nice inside turn but yeah I was still so so proud of him and look how proud he looks of himself he's so happy that someone's giving him a ribbon oh I love him so much 
Then we do the little lap of honor. My little dags, long dags, going for a trot. And then walking back to the stables, sporting the ribbon because, you know, why not? In the lovely uh, Bonio mud. Then I hosed off just these leggies because it was a bit cold. And then we went to the shops because I needed some bathers because we were going to go to a spa after I had finished riding. Then we went to pet stock because I was running out of feed for him. And then you can see me getting extremely distracted here and deciding immediately that I wanted a treat ball for the horses at home because I only had one. And then very, very totally random, but we actually went and Max played golf because, you know, I got to appease the groom. So he keeps doing it and keeps coming to my shows. So I thought might as well just uh, go to the local country club or whatever it was. <laughs> played a round of 18, which I uh, did not partake with because um, let's just say not the best golfer. Let's be real. But it was pretty stunning. So I wasn't too annoyed, to be honest. Despite how annoyed I look here, I was actually just really, really tired and just wanted to sleep at this point. Then we went back to Bonio and did the normal rounds, took little Desert for a walk. Oh my god, he's so cute. I can't handle it. Then we went to a restaurant about 45 minutes away at a winery slash vineyard slash maybe not winery, but it was at the Jackalope Hotel and we just went to the Rare Hair restaurant because a friend suggested it literal like years ago so I thought you know when in town I might head on there they've got this weird like jackalope sculpture thing out the front and then us having our beverages I was really balling out just because you know when in the Mornington Peninsula then we finally headed home and tried to have an early-ish night slightly difficult when you're me and then the next morning I got there and Dexter had managed to pee in his bucket so you know bougie times going to a nice restaurant and then uh waking up in the morning and having to tip your horse's pee out of his bucket um and he also chewed on his halter overnight so that was great too then here we are waiting for the course walk for a while me looking a little bit fried at this point and then i was on so this was the third round of the amateur series and he was feeling the best he had felt this day as you can probably also tell compared to the other three videos, if you've seen all of his rounds, he's just, you know, waiting for me, which was great. He was still definitely thinking speed rounds, <laughs> hence the uh, last however many days of him doing three speed rounds and one not speed round, but he was jumping amazingly. As you can see over that fence, he just felt incredible. But basically this was the last round of the amateur series and only 25 horses I think got into the last round. So out of 52 that started. So yeah, it was good to be in the finals, especially as we had come so far and hadn't had a good lead up at all this year, considering this was his third show, I believe. And one of the shows he had been to was in February and then he had, you know, over six months break. I think it ended up being like eight months break. And then he just had a show a month before this, and then it was this Oz Champs. So yeah, we can just see we really cut out a stride there, so hence having that rail. But great through the triple combination, again, especially considering we cut out a <laughs> stride, and it was like a stride that was definitely required, like it was a long six strides in there, and we got five, so yeah. It was finally sunny, which was so nice this day. There's a jump uh, first. Um, rather than just going, oh, second and third. I've only heard, I get it in my face. Oh, crap. Yeah. I hit something. Yeah. Oops. So I was all done at this point, so I headed over and watched all the bigger classes and <laughs> wished that I had a horse that was jumping that height, slash, I was jumping that height. Not the Dexter. I, couldn't do it like he definitely could it's just the uh mental aspect of him doing it and my mental aspect of doing it as well that I need to get over <laughs> so 
literally have you ever seen a more pathetically sooky horse but honestly i love it we had some celebratory finishing cocktails which i proceeded to tip mine on the floor so that absolutely sucked then i just watched a couple of friends go around this was a friend that won the off the track series final which was super exciting max's weird socked feet um no comment. The lap of honour for the off the track series round two, which that was the friend that won it. We did the daily walk in the afternoon and I pretty well packed everything up so we could leave fairly early in the morning. I don't know why he chooses to eat reeds also. Such a strange horse. Bit of a convo shot, really analysing how long his neck is. <laughs> then we watched about half of the senior speed class, which was absolutely chaotic, not gonna lie. And then we went to the riders party because hey, you know, when in Bonio, might as well. Then we got up really early the next morning because we were actually booked in to go to a spa, but we were going to go there early morning so we didn't have to pay as much. So we went and fed Dexter beforehand so he wouldn't get grumpy when we were late. So we went to the Alba Spa, which was actually quite new and it literally looked like a James Bond villain master mansion. I couldn't actually film inside, but it was like insane so yeah this is kind of just a little little sneak peek because there was literally pretty much no one around which was amazing at the start so yeah really really suggest it if you're ever in Borneo and have like a spare day or early morning where you want to head there so then I just gave Dexter his last little chomp around the place on the grass I was so paranoid about him being around there because of snakes and stuff. I'm like, eh. I'm just so paranoid with snakes in general now with the horses ever since last summer when Dexter literally tread on one when I was riding him and it like curled its little tail around his leg. I am so paranoid after seeing that. But basically on the way home, we drove well into the night and we got home probably about 10 p.m. I want to say or something like that because we left at like midday or something after the spa and getting him fully ready to go but you can see him just being like get me home already so this is Deza back home and so happy the next morning <laughs> to be back there and actually be able to eat his grass in his paddock and this is our new little orphan lamb family member that was coming to greet me after I finally got back and saw him again so cute and that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I was so proud of Dexter after having such an average year and then only three shows and then really going quite well at Oz Champs. So stoked with him. Hopefully next year goes a lot smoother. And yeah, I'll see you at my next video. Hopefully soon. Bye, guys.